In this video, we're gonna talk about Spawn and Lyra face their darkest hour. You'll see exactly what I mean by the time we get to the end of this issue. Alrighty then, this is a comic book review of Spawn, issue number 357, brought to you by Rated Comics. Let's get to it. Now previously in Spawn, Spawn and Lyra come searching for answers and end up prisoners of the nefarious Nero. But before we go any further, we gotta take a step back. So at the agency, Jason Wynn wants to know what happens to his little beast. And the scientist was like, we were still looking into the exact cause, but it appears that he broke loose and the guards corner him. But then they said that he charged at the guards like he wanted him to, like he wanted to be killed. And Jason Wynn's like, well, not surprising given what it's been through. And the scientist is like, yes, but we keep running out of specimens to run our tests. And even if we get more, I'm not sure how good that will do. So as long as we're working with depowered creatures, it'll be near impossible to create the virus that you want to create. And Jason Wynn walks away casually smoking a cigar like your concerns have been noted. Don't worry about it. Plans are in motion. We'll see what those plans are later on. So Nero comes in his home and he tells whoever broke into his home, Spawn and Lyra, like, why don't you tell me what you're doing here? And then I can decide whether to incinerate you or not. And Spawn's like, look, we're here to talk, Nero. We need your help. And you think breaking into my house is the best way to get it? Well, yeah, your bodyguards didn't give us much choice. Well, that is a rather key part of their job description. So let me guess, what you want? You want to alter your appearance so you can look like a demon or what? That's what the demons have been asking lately. So tell, give it to me straight. And Lyra is like, that's not why we're here. We need a cure for vampirism. And Nero's like, I'm afraid you wasted your time. If one ever existed, I mean, I imagine blood had destroyed it long ago. But as far as I'm concerned, there is no cure. And Spawn says, Caliban said differently. And Nero's like, don't trust that imbecile. I'm the one that actually practiced magic around here. So who gave the address to my place? Because I expect a certain level of discretion from my clients. And Spawn was like, well, his name was Smythe. If it's any consolation for what it's worth, he didn't hand the information all over willingly. <laughs> and Nero's like, okay, I'm sure. Now, if you excuse me, I gotta get some sleep and I'm hungry. I don't wanna deal with you guys no more. You asked for, you came for answers and I ain't got none for you, so peace out. So Lyra's like, what's now? You know, what happens now? What do we do? And Spawn's like, I know it's frustrating, but these things take time. Yeah, but we've been circling around for weeks. You kind of get the sense of Lyra's rookiness and lack of experience compared to Spawn, who has military experience, and he has experience on how to get information. And he knows things like this take time because people play this stuff close to the vest. So Lyra's like, we can't keep waiting for some miracle silver bullet. We need to take the fight to blood now. And Spawn's like, I know, hold up, slow down, baby girl. It's not, we don't do that. But he gets a text message and he gets information from an informant sending the location of a demon faction that Spawn has been looking into. So Spawn's like, okay, we gotta go. There's been a rumor lately, a demon sector that is trying to find ways to replace the powers that they've lost. And Lyra's like, what? How? Sounds like the agency, right? But Spawn may or may not know that just yet. And Spawn's like magic, technology, gene augmentation, whatever they can get their hands on, that'll give them the leg up. Even after Blood's purge, there's still enough of them around to cause trouble and this faction potentially has something big. So we need to shut it down before it spreads. The last thing we need is Hell's operative or Heaven's figuring out how to rearm themselves. So they get to the warehouse and obviously, you know, Spawn has his flashlight on. It stinks. It looks like people have been dead. Lyra's like, man, it stinks in here. So what do we do? So Spawn tells her, let's sweep the place, see if there's any clues about what they were working on. And Lyra's like, okay, I'll take the West End. So there's a little moment right here where Spawn asks her if she needs a torch. And she's like, I'm good. And she just manipulates energy. And Spawn's like, interesting. You never mentioned that. And she's like, well, interesting. You never asked that. I like those kind of clapbacks, you know? So she's like, if I find anything, I'll let you know. So she goes, she looks, she investigates, she hears a sound behind this wall and she's like, okay, is somebody in there? She investigates even further and someone behind the wall is like, yes, thank God, please, I'm being held prisoner, can you get me out? So Lyra's like, okay, give me a second, boo, I got you. So she opens the door and speaking to boo, we go from boo to bay right now. But this girl with the glasses and it's kind of suspicious, like, you know, she's like, I was starting to worry, I'll be stuck in here forever. You're not a vampire, are you? You're not gonna hurt me. And it doesn't seem like quite dialogue. I don't know. It it just seems suspicious at first glance. So Lyra's like, don't worry, are you okay? And she's like, I think so. So Lyra asks her the question that we all need to know. Who are you? Who put you in there? Well, she's like, some demons about two weeks ago, they kept me in the running experience. 
to see if they could regain their powers by experimenting on me. So she's like, why would you be able to help return their powers? I don't get it. Or she takes those things off her hand before she can answer the question, which is definitely a rookie mistake. Let me get some answers, then I'll decide if I need to release you or not. So she's like, what, you still got your powers too? You're a hybrid? And Lyra is like, oh my God, you're a hybrid as well? I thought I was the only one. Me too, says the girl, but I've been hearing that there might be more of us since the vampires took over. So she introduces herself as Marjorie, and Lyra introduces herself too. So not totally sure, says Margie, but a few nights, I could hear a lot of fighting and bickering going on back there. Figured it was just a vampire, so I just kept quiet. But then, after a while, I came. And she gets shocked, and she's like, okay, who is that? What is that? It's Spawn. And Spawn's like, okay, you said you're going to let me know if you found something. I clearly see that you found something. So Lyra's like, Spawn, this is Marjorie. She's a hybrid, too. Demons were keeping a prisoner, and Spawn immediately goes into military interrogation mode. Is that right? And she feels it, too. She feels that energy change. Like, I can't manipulate this one like I can manipulate Lyra. She's like, yeah, hi. How they capture you? Well, it's quite embarrassing, see? I've never been much of a fighter. So if you're a hybrid, why didn't you escape? And she's like, I tried, but my cuffs somehow blocked my powers. And Spawn's like, so they're off now. Where are your powers? And she's like, uh, it doesn't quite work like that. I haven't felt them come back yet. I'm not so sure. Something is going on. This is starting to feel like an interrogation. And Lyra's like, it is interrogation. So Spawn, where are you getting at? And Spawn's like, mm. it's just interesting that there wasn't a single angel demon hybrid until a few weeks ago. And now they seem to be everywhere. And Marjorie's like, I don't know what you took. I don't know what to tell you. Maybe we just stand out a little bit more, right? And Spawn's like, maybe arms folded or maybe you're lying. And she's like, are you serious? Forget you, you had no idea what I've been through. Never mind, you wouldn't understand. I'm out of here. She tries to walk past Spawn and Spawn's like, uh-uh, boo, or bae. You ain't going nowhere until you prove you're actually a hybrid. She's like, well, you might be waiting a while because I don't know when my powers are coming back. Well, that's the point. He puts a gun to her face and tells her, you got five seconds and there's a countdown. And tension builds up like, Spawn, I don't know. Don't do this, Spawn. I'm telling the truth. Four, three, two, and before he gets to, and when he gets to one, and before he can pull the trigger, a little rumbling happens. And with that rumbling comes Tremor coming in from the back and hits Lyra like that. And I don't know if it could quite break her back like that, but it's definitely gonna leave a mark for sure. So we're just gonna bask in this image for a little bit. This video is sponsored by coffee. So if you'd like to buy a boy a cup of coffee, link in description or donate to the super thanks. But the greatest compliment you guys can do is by liking this video and subscribing to Rated Comics YouTube channel. With all that being said, <laughs> let's get back into the content. So Marjorie, I decide if that's even her name, tells Tremor, you cut that a bit close, didn't you? And Tremor's like, didn't want you whining about me sabotaging your play. So cough of 20 bucks, Snow, that's her real name. And she's like, take it off the 60 bucks you owe me. And for the record, the play was working fine as she transforms into this lady in that outfit, in that costume that we saw exactly a few issues back or two issues back. I don't know who she was. I didn't even know that was Tremor because we haven't seen Tremor in a minute. But exactly, that's Tremor and that's Snow and they're ready to get down with the get down. With they're ready for the business right now. So all of a sudden this blast of energy comes at them from behind and it's Lyra. She goes in, attacks Tremor, and tells Tremor, I'll gut you, demon. And then, boom, she gets blasted back by the Fixer. And the Fixer tells these two, sloppy work, you two were told to make sure she's incapacitated first. It was in the briefing. And Tremor's like, yeah, we had an under control Fixer. Hang on, hold up, says Snow. Where's Spawn? And Tremor's like, he slipped away. He knew he wasn't going to win this. Doesn't matter. He's not a priority, says Snow. Get, get the hybrid onto the ship while I report in. And she reports in to win, like, yo, we got her. The target's been acquired. But meanwhile, Spawn from a distance is watching, making sure. I guess he's got to put a track on that ship. Or he's going to follow that ship where it goes. Because, yeah, Spawn couldn't win that fight. But he's got to follow that to see what happens. Because he was going to train Lyra how to be like him and fight like him. And Spawn needed Lyra, too. But now that she's gone and taken away, this is Spawn and Lyra face their darkest hour. What you guys think of the comic book? Comment below, let me know. And also link in the description if you wish to add this comic book and or any of our other limited print rated comic exclusives to add to your comic book collection. Support the art, support the industry. Thank you again for watching. Until next time.